Hi everyone and welcome back to Techyanshi. In this video on my channel, we will talk about how you can create an infographical KPI on your dashboard. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and let's get right into this video. I'm sure a lot of you have seen dashboards which have nice infographical KPI and always wondered how did they create this. Let's look at this beautiful looking visual and it has distribution of male versus female using icons which represent numbers and percentages. I just wish I could create something like this in Tableau. Now imagine looking at something like this where you had a different waffle like chart and you could color code it based on the percentage of people belonged to that category. Wouldn't that be fun? So here we are today on my channel to discover how you can create a beautiful looking infographic KPI chart in Tableau. For this, you will need a data set which I call the Waffle data set. And this is how it would look like. For displaying 10 marks in an infographic, you would have to create these 10 rows, which is nothing but a one cross one representing 10%, a one cross two representing 20% and so on and so forth till one cross 10 representing 100%. Similar to this, if you want to create a waffle chart with a 10 cross 10 grid, for that you have to create each and every point and this is how your data would look like. It would have 100 rows in total and each row would be equal to 1%. This data set will act as a prerequisite for your dashboard. So without further ado, let's get into Tableau and start building a beautiful infographical KPI chart. As part of the Tableau ecosystem, we get the regional dashboard. I'm going to leverage the data which is inside of this dashboard today, part of the college sheet, which you can see here uh, under the education data. So let's go ahead and start using some of this over here in the new sheet. I'm into the education data. I'm going to pull up gender onto the rows and then I'm pulling the total score onto the columns. You can see the score for women is higher than the score for men. Uh, this is a total score. So this is how it is. Now I'm using a simple waffle template which says if the value for the row is 1 and column is 1 then the percentage is 10% like this till 100% which is a value of 1. I'm going to copy this and paste this normally inside of my Tableau. Automatically from the clipboard it is able to uh, add in this new data source that I can quickly rename and just call this as anchor data. Now this is the data that will help us design the structure for the KPI. The first step here is to make sure that the column and rows are converted to dimension and then you'll pull them one by one into your row and column shelf. You can see them laid out here neatly. If you change the marks card to a square, you can see there is a square that's placed for each of the columns from 1 to 10. This is exactly the framework we need in order to build the infographical KPI. Now, as you can see, I'm creating a quick calculated field called women total score. Now, this is a simple if else condition. So I'm saying if the gender is equal to women, then we want to take the total score, but not the sum here. So we'll remove the sum from here and then just say end. And outside of this, outside of this, if we will have the sum. Now this whole thing we want to divide it by the total score. So I'm just going to sum up the total score for my denominator. Uh, this is my calculation for women total score, right? I will just rename it and call this as a percentage of women total score because it's actually a percentage score, right? So let's just do that. Once this is done, let's go ahead and duplicate this and you're going to just edit it to uh, modify it and make it specific for men. So just changing the parameters wherever we had women earlier to men now. Just click OK. Now we have these two calculated fields. Heading back to our sheet 12. Let's create a quick calculated field which will use the field that we just created and I'm calling this color of gender. I'm saying if the percentage average value is less than or equal to 
the field that we just created so i'm going back to the education data and saying percentage of women total score then we'll color code it as women this is the value that we are giving it else we will again compare the average value of the percentage with the women plus we will also add to this the score for the men so just note one thing every time you are creating an else if condition you will keep the existing score over there you will just add in the new score because we want this whole thing to add up to a hundred percent else others and end this is your uh, normal if else condition again i'm pulling this onto the color shelf now you'll get this warning don't worry about it just click on do not show because we are not defining how these two sources are related that's why you are seeing it uh, if you also want to see a quick percentage of total over here you can see both of them actually round up to a 50 percent and that is why we are seeing like five uh, of women which is orange and five for men which is blue now you can make any aesthetic changes to this i just want to show you how you would be able to use some nice different shapes over here so you could use a circle you could also use a different shape and you could pull in this value onto shape as well as we want to denote this in ways of gender so right now i'm pulling up a men icon and a women icon and clicking on apply and then clicking on ok so this is my infographic i can increase the size of it if it looks very small but it's up to you you could also edit the color of this uh, just pick up a color that you feel uh, suits the infographic the best for now i'm picking up pink for women and for men i'm using a blue shade so that's all i'm doing over here you can see this is my infographic that's created now this is for a hundred percent where you're showing 10 total people and it's divided if i want to do the same thing for a 10 cross 10 grid like a waffle chart i can do the same thing i'm i just did like from the anchor data so i'm just creating a 10 cross 10 grid using a waffle data set and here i'm pulling in the rows and columns again as dimensions onto my column and row shelf now you can see i have like all of these different cards over here if i use a square i have a 10 cross 10 grid and the same thing the exact same way that we did it for the other anchor data we will just go ahead and copy this color for gender calculation we created here so that we don't have to recreate again so i'm going into the waffle 10 crush 10 and just pasting that color here now if i pull it over here you could see uh, how the women and the men are distributed and here it gives you like more details if you don't want to use just a uh, just 10 images uh, instead you want to use like 100 so this is how you can do this is this will represent it in a more accurate format right so this is how it is right this is very simple to a waffle chart it is actually a waffle chart but just by using shapes we are able to bring in infographics onto this so right now again i'm pulling it pulling up the right icons for men and women and changing the size over here right i hope you guys are able to follow here uh, if not please feel free to reach out to me I should be able to help you you could also change it to a small circle and add in a label to this right if you add this label it says women and men right now but you can simply edit your calculation and change this to w and m and this will also uh, infographically look nice and very very similar so a nice rounded waffle infographic can be created now you can create any different shape it could be a diamond square triangle anything that you like over here could be created now if you have a data that's not in the same way as we have right now like for example if you have categories and you have the percentages associated with it how do you create an infographic uh, dashboard or or a sheet with that right so this is what i'm trying to guide you over here if suppose this is my data which is already in a percentage format and not in the form of an absolute number what you would do so let's go ahead and um, change the name of this first the data source that i've added over here uh, the next thing we will do is we'll create a calculated field like we did uh, in the other data set for education 
and i'm just calling it category 1 percentage value over here i am going to compare the category value if it is equal to category 1 then i'm going to take the percentage value else we don't have any condition so end this and we'll just sum up the entire value now just note over here we are not dividing this value uh, with the total because this is already a percentage value right in the other example which we just worked out earlier we divided it with a hundred percent with a with a percentage of the total because we wanted to see a percentage value so this is how it is we have been able to create all these three different category percentages value over here now all that we will do is similar to what we have done i'm just going to duplicate this so that we don't have to lay out the whole structure so i'm just calling it a category uh, sheet for now or a category chart and we will remove the existing field and just use let's just go ahead and uh, create some new calculations so again i'm simply going to duplicate the existing field which we already created so that we can just reuse it so i'm calling it color for category and here instead of all the education fields we will have our category fields so i'm just uh, making sure that i'm able to update it so this is for the category one plus for the category two so let's just pull in that and then the value should be equal to category two over here similarly another else if condition which will have all the three values for all the three categories so i will just add in the category three value over here and specify this as category three with that this is done and we can just simply go back to our data and pull in this color for category onto a color shelf you can see based on our percentages the boxes are color coded and this is how our uh, infographic can look like. You can pull in uh, the labels onto it. You could change the shapes. You can play around with it however you would like to. Uh, I think shapes really help to elevate your infographics. To identify a particular category, you could use the relevant shapes as you would want to. So feel free to do that as well. You can also use a simple rectangular shape over here. To give this a pebble like effect a layered effect and it can look really nice as an infographic so feel free to experiment as and how you would want to use this you can add in the labels as i said um, and edit it format it uh, you know you could also change the size of these labels and make this look much more beautiful uh, and this is how you should be able to create infographics using shapes and just minimal addition of a data set. I will keep coming up with more such informative videos that will help you out in future to create much more beautiful visualizations. Don't forget to hit on the like button and do subscribe to my channel. With that, I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.